welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we are just doing a quick comparison of some of the new Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks with some additional comparisons. If you've missed my original video on this, I do have a full review on it, along with swatches and comparisons. And these are some additional requested comparisons that we're going to do right now. So first we're gonna start off by swatching all of the Rouge Coco Blooms that I picked up. This first shade here is 110 Chance. 116 Dream. 118 Radiant. 122 Zenith. And 132 Vivacity. Now, real quickly, just a breakdown of these shades. We have 110 Chance, which is going to be a nude brownish shade with some peach in there. 116 Dream is going to be a warm peachy pink nude kind of shade. Then we have 118 Radiant, which is a rosewood. We also have 122 Zenith, which is kind of like a a bright coral shade and this one is gonna have some like pink and peachy tones to it. Basically everything in this line that I picked up ends up having some peachy tones. And then we have a brighter coral with more of like an orangey red in there and that is gonna be 132 Vivacity. We're gonna start by comparing the Shanzakai Butterfly Lip Cheeks from this year's spring collection. This shade here is Hyssop. Let's see if we can get this a little bit deeper. You can see these are a very sheer formula in comparison. This one here is Peach Blossom. And we have Coral. You can see, I'm sorry, this is Clover. <laughs> so one more time from the top, 110 Chance, 116 Dream, 118 Radiant, 122 Zenith, 132 Vivacity, Shantakai Hyssop, Shantakai Peach Blossom, and Shantakai Clover. And you can see that the Chanel tones run a bit warm and the Shantakai are a little bit cooler aside from Peach Blossom. This is the Hermes lipstick from the fall in Rose Ombre. And this is Sicily Lafito Rouge number 15 in Beige Manhattan. You can see that these still have way more peach in them. They're not quite as neutral as the Sisley or the Hermes shades. Next, we're gonna go through the Chanel Le Lyon lipsticks that I picked up. These are in the Rouge Allure Velvet formula. First up, we have 58 Rouge V. You can see this is more red than any of the blooms that I have here. This is 227 Beige Rougissant. And I know a lot of people want to see that compared to 110 Chance. So here you go. You can see that Beige Rouge Saint has a lot more yellow in it compared to Chance, which is more peach. Put that right here on top as well. See here. Sorry, my wrist makes it a little harder to swatch. There you go. 237 Beige Ardent. Gonna put that one over here closer to the radiant. You can see that Beige Ardent has more brown tones in it in comparison. 257 Rouge Triomphal. Not gonna be a match with any of my blooms. And last up, we have 277. This is Rouge Fauve. Yes. So you can see that this one here is going to be more of like a brick red kind of shade in comparison to any of the blooms that I have. So I hope this was helpful. I have to say overall the Rouge Coco Bloom line tends to run in peachy tones. Even the shades that look a little bit pink that I end up picking up, for example, Dream ends up being a little bit peachier than you might expect that they run a little bit warmer. And then the Le Leon line from Chanel tends to all have more like yellow undertones in most of the shades. So again, they're also mostly warm tones for the ones I have. 
Now, I'm not saying that they don't have any cool tones in these lines. The ones I picked up tend to run warm. And I think for the most part, the majority of the shades and the lines run a little bit warmer than they do cool. For the um, Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks, there are definitely some bright pinks that look like they run cool, but the lighter shades, I think all run on the warmer side. I hope this was helpful. And for those of you who were wondering, the Chanel Rouge Coco Blooms, Chanel Le Leon, all of their lipsticks, they do all have the same fragrance. Now for me, the Rouge Coco Flashes and the Rouge Coco Blooms don't seem to be quite as fragrant as the lipsticks in the more traditional formula. So although they do have a fragrance, it's very slight. It's not all that noticeable compared to the regular lipsticks, which definitely have more of that perfumey floral scent that's pretty noticeable when you first take off the cap. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day. Stay safe and healthy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. See you soon.